Hi, I'm Robert Hurt. Today we're filming our monthly video address from our Washington, D.C. office. As we celebrate and honor those who have served and those who are serving today on this Memorial Day, we are reminded of those who have sacrificed so much to defend our Constitution and our American way of life. We thank them. As your representative, I am committed to doing what I can to also defend our Constitution and our liberties. Part of that is returning us to our founding principles of limited government, free enterprise, and individual liberty. A new study suggests that federal regulations are imposing a threat to these principles. They are costing each American household $14,000. In 2012, the Code of Federal Regulations hit an all-time high of 174,000 pages. It should be no surprise that laws like Dodd-Frank and the President's health care law are contributing significantly to this bureaucratic morass. In fact, here next to me sits a 20,000 page, 7 foot 3 inch, 300 pound stack of actual health care regulations that will be imposed on the American people. This month, noting the negative effects of the President's health care law it is having in Virginia's 5th District, I once again supported a full repeal of the President's health care law. Not only is this law increasing premiums on our families, but it is also harming our small businesses and turning full-time work and part-time work for workers across the fifth district. Additionally, in May, we took action to tackle more red tape by voting once again to pave the way for the Keystone Pipeline's approval. The Northern Route Approval Act is critical to reliable North American energy, lowering fuel prices on our families and small businesses and creating American jobs. And this month, we also voted on legislation to hold federal agencies accountable for the cost of the rules and regulations they place on the American people. With bipartisan support, we passed the SEC Regulatory Accountability Act. This common sense legislation ensures that like other federal agencies, the SEC must conduct a cost-benefit analysis of its rules required by Dodd-Frank. This will ensure that the cost of SEC regulations do not outweigh the benefit to the American people. Finally. This month, we have seen just how threatening the growing federal government can be. The IRS scandal, whereby the IRS singled out political opponents for tax scrutiny, demonstrates not only a troubling abuse of power by this administration, but also an affront to our constitutionally protected right of free speech. Equally as troubling has been the Justice Department's seizure of journalists' phone records. And like Virginians across the 5th District, I remain gravely concerned about the administration's failure to prevent and to be forthcoming but the terrorist attack in Benghazi that left three Americans and a U.S. ambassador dead. Our government, founded on the principle that those who govern do only so with the consent of the governed, necessarily must operate in a transparent manner and be accountable to the American people. Understanding our constitutional duty, the House of Representatives is focused on holding the administration and its agencies accountable for its actions. Let me conclude by congratulating Highland School Jr. Finley Bross of Warrington for being chosen as the 5th District's Congressional Art Competition winner. Her painting, titled Vint Hill Church, will hang in our nation's capital building along with all other winners from throughout the country. Congratulations, Finley, and thank you to all those who participated in the contest. Thank you for tuning in to our May address, and I look forward to getting back to work in the district next week.